Do you have a dachshund and have questions on topics like training and nutrition? Do you want a dachshund and need help locating a breeder or finding a great rescue? Did you have a dachshund growing up and want to share some funny or heartwarming stories? Then you're in the right place. Welcome to the Wiener Dog Lover Podcast, the place to be for all things dachshund. Welcome back, Wiener Dog Lovers. I'm continuing on with my building community theme in this week's podcast. I found my dachshund community 25 years ago when I met my breeders, Bev and Dave Canline. I was looking for my first uh, dachshund puppy as, as an adult, and I contacted them, and they had one little miniature red long-haired female that was still looking for her forever home. Now, we had decided that we were going to get a dachshund puppy, but we had originally planned for the spring, and this was January. It was so long ago, I can't remember what I said or what I did to convince my then-partner to go and look at those puppies, but I do remember it was January 20th, and we were sitting there at Bev's kitchen table, just falling in love with a tiny 12-week-old puppy. As she talked through her confirmation, all I could think of was this puppy needs to come home with me. And at that time, I knew very little about confirmation, but I would learn more from Bev over the years. After a few tears and a silent card ride home, I had the go-ahead to bring the puppy home. And that began the relationship with the can lines. And we would go back to them for a second puppy Many years later, I guess almost eight years later, they also helped rehabilitate my mom's dog, Abby, when she went down with IBDD. So I really learned a lot from them, and I participated in dog shows with them, and eventually in the Eastern Dachshund Club, and their yearly event, the Weenie Whoopie. And thanks to Bev and Dave, I realized just how important it really is to have that community around you to help support you through all stages of life with your dachshund. So many of my friends have come by way of dachshunds, and I want to continue to grow that community through my podcast. With social media, it can sometimes feel like we have people around us, but we only see them in one dimension. And through these interviews, I want to share the people behind the usernames And today, my guest is Destiny Brown and her dogs, Jake and Elwood. Let's get into it. Destiny, I am very thankful that you are here with us today. And as I stated, what I want to start doing on the podcast is start introducing some of our Instagram followers to our podcast followers. And uh, you reached out when I contacted you. And so what I'd like to do is start off with maybe having you tell us how you became a wiener dog lover. How did uh, the first dachshund come into your life? Um, I actually work for a veterinary hospital, and um, about a year ago now, we had a dachshund come in that I guess the owners had a lot going on in their life, so they thought that electing to euthanize was their only option, and turns out I was available to take a little wiener dog into my life, and um, he was my first wiener dog. I've had him for a year now. He's been the sweetest little guy ever, and he completely changed my life. That's awesome. So what is your little guy's name? His name is Jake. He is a little uh, miniature long hair red. Awesome. And how old did you say he was? He just turned 13. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you took in a senior dog. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I do some work with Alberta Docks and Rescue here in Calgary, and we often have some seniors come in, and really they're, they do make for the best best friends for sure. What would you say is Jake's best qualities? He's very, very relaxed dog, doesn't really bark much, and he just wants to be under a blanket cuddling with you all day. And that's probably the best thing about him. The snuggles? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing better on a on a uh, Sunday afternoon than to snuggle under the blanket with a wiener dog, for sure. For sure. Exactly. <laughs> Being that he was a senior dog, were there any unique situations to bringing him into your home? Did you have to do any kind of adaptation? Did he settle right in pretty easily? Um, He settled in pretty, like, fairly easily. Um, We got a ramp for the bed for him and got used to having to carry him up and down stairs, those kind of things. But he's adapted fairly well. Um, Haven't had really any issues. I have a cat that he... And the cat got along very well since the beginning. I was pretty surprised by that. No concerns, even from the beginning with him. He's been great. 
That's awesome. And now, did he have any sort of back issues? He had he had gained a little bit of weight while he was at the hospital with us. So whenever I took him home, he inevitably gained just a tiny bit more weight before I was able to get some pounds off of him and um, had a little bit of uh, some back pain right in the middle. So we had to kind of treat that and try to get some weight off of them that way. Perfect. Being that you're, are you a vet tech? Um, I'm in school, but I'm just an assistant currently. Are you in school for a vet tech or is that what your plan yes. is? Yeah. Oh, well then he's very lucky. <laughs> 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 just give us a couple of tips. If someone was looking at bringing a dachshund into their home, what would you say would be one of the recommendations that you would make, ba- either based on your experience working in the veterinary clinic or based on your experience of bringing him into your home? I think definitely correctly introducing to any previous pets in the household, making sure that everybody feels comfortable and safe. And then I also think, especially for the wiener dogs, having ramps and you know other different types of mechanisms that they can't jump off of things and potentially have an IVDD flare up and to just trying to like basically keep them from getting themselves into trouble so setting everybody up for success trying to keep things off the ground if they're chewers and just making it an easy transition for everybody trying to keep everybody out of trouble and while they learn how the household works. I love that. That's a great, great tips for everyone out there with whether they're bringing in a dachshund or any other dog in or bringing another dog in to meet their dachshund. So that's great. That really great advice. So Destiny, thank you for being with us here with us today. Give everybody your Instagram account handle so that everybody can reach out to you and follow you and your buddy. Jake actually has a brother now. Um, I had him for two weeks. So his new Instagram handle is weenie underscore brothers. So weenie, W-I-E-N-I-E? It's uh, W-E-E-N underscore B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S. Okay. And so what is Jake's brother's name? It's Elwood. And is Elwood also a dachshund? He is. What type is he? He is also a miniature, but he is um, like the Isabella tan color. Is he smooth? Oh, he's a long hair. Oh, I don't know that I've ever seen an Isabella tan long hair. Wow, I that's awesome. <laughs> What's, did you say you hadn't either? I, yeah, I, had, I hadn't either before. Great. And how old was he when he brought, brought, you, brought him in? Three. Oh, so again, another rescue. Yes. Did he come by way of your veterinary clinic as well, or did you find another res? Did you find a rescue? He was actually out of like a hoarding case, out of a rescue. And what rescue did you get him from? Not any particular rescue. Is a dachshund breeder that kind of takes in other people's dachshunds when they can't hang on to them anymore. She goes and rescues ones that need uh, rescued. Oh, good for her. And were you looking, or did she just happen into your life? Kind of a little of both. I was semi-looking, but also kind of in a a spot where I wasn't actively looking. And then I got contacted via Facebook by her about it. And where is she located? She is out in the Blanchester area of Ohio. And where are you located? I'm in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Awesome. How are they getting along? Oh, great. They were sleeping together and cuddling within the first hour. Better than I could have ever imagined for. That's great. It's awesome when they come in into a new situation and settle right in. Dachshunds tend to, they they can do that. They they have the potential. (laughs) (laughs) One last time for your Instagram handle so that everybody can follow you, follow your your boys. Yeah, um, it's ween underscore brothers. So W-E-E-N underscore brothers. Perfect. All right. And it maybe give us, if you have one more, do you have any funny stories or interesting antics from either one of them, from whether it's the introduction or, you know, just having them in your home that you might want to share with other everyone? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, we're kind of in the process of training, potty training Elwood right now. That's been interesting. Uh, he doesn't quite understand how to, once we catch him peeing, try to interrupt it. He doesn't understand how to stop his peeing. So there ends up being like a trail from where he started all the way to outside. And it's just been a whole funny kind of hard experience. (laughs) 
He'll figure it out. I have no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you get to bring your pups to work with you at all? I do. Perfect. Even better. So they have a great life from, from rescue to being able to come to work with mom and have a brother. And it, that's amazing. And have a great life for a 13-year-old rescue. That's great of you to do that. We appreciate oh, thank that. Thank you. We appreciate <laughs> that for sure. Did you have anything else you want to share about your boys before we like let you go? I don't think so. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Destiny, for sharing your boys with us. I'm very grateful to Destiny for sharing her story of rescue for both of her guys. And remember that it's not just the young dogs that are looking for homes. Uh, like Jake, sometimes seniors need to be loved and are in need of a new forever home. And our dachshunds can live for many years. So just because you get a dachshund that's maybe a little bit older and getting on in their years doesn't mean that you're going to have a short amount of time. And even if you get a young dog, it doesn't guarantee long time either. Think of it more in quality of time, more so than quantity. I really hope that today's episode makes you think about getting out there and rescuing a dog and maybe even considering a senior dog. All of my guys are currently rescues. I will admit I have three currently and I have a foster dog who has been with us since August and I think Jaxie Man might have found his forever home. I really shouldn't re I really shouldn't foster, but either way he may or may not be staying. More to come with that. Again, take a look at your local rescue and get out there and find a dog that's right for your family. If you have a wiener dog story, an event, or a topic you'd like to see us cover, send an email, bark at wienerdoglover.com. Follow us on Instagram, wiener underscore dog underscore lover underscore, or Twitter at Loving Wiener Dog, or find us on Facebook, Wiener Dog Lover. Never miss an episode, head on over to wherever you listen to podcasts and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time we put out a new podcast. I'd also be grateful if you would leave us a review. Until next time, Wiener Dog Lovers, this is Lori, Sheba, and the Wieners, signing off.